Yeah. Nice looking wave here, Joe. Priorities with Chianka. He will use it here. Locks in. Big drive in a hollow cave. Joao makes the exit on one of the best barrels we've seen this morning. Yeah, by far. I mean, that, that just looks like an excellent score. That was amazing. Great read there from Joao, too. Watch the pump right here. He's reading the line. Whoa, on behind. Big pump right there to get in front of it. And he was super deep. He hopped up and over the foam ball inside that barrel. That's what you call a keg right there, Joe. Wide open barrel. Love how much room he had to actually keep that rail engaged, knowing that his exit was going to shut down. What a great read. Strider, what did you see? Uh, you know what? I saw that the Joao was sitting in the perfect spot. He had his position. He stayed there. He waited for it. Everybody else kind of hunting around on the inside. Canola looking for those double ups that kind of ain't a little bit further down the reef. Joao established position, found the right wave. Back at Pipeline, pulling in, João Chianca Chaminho comes out of the barrel, spit out right at the buzzer. Um, he's going to be really hard out here. He just doesn't ever make a mistake. If you give this guy a slabby wave, he's going to make the drop, and he's going to get pitted. Jordy's out there holding it down, so yeah, it's a good matchup. Just, I'm sure Matthew had a lot of inspiration from Jordy. So, uh, Chianca. Just took the lead, now looking to the barrel, gets behind the curtain, one more section for Joao Chianca. And the round with a powerful hack to finish, and he has another celebration in the channel. His previous wave was a seven point ride. He's taking the lead off of Yago Dora. Is uh, just going off. Check this out, Megs. Yeah, huge snap, hoops it right into under the barrel. Um, but right here, the setup turn, just all rail turn, and another beautiful claim from him. <laughs> uh, he's feeling it. He is feeling it out there. He's having fun. Yeah, there he is with a big hack. And great technique to get into the barrel, steadfast through that barrel, and just another turn to boot. So that's how you get up into the excellent range, and then... We call it a celebration. You know, my, my Brazilian friends tell me that there's not a Portuguese word that they use for claim. They said it's not a claim. This guy just came back and stole the heat from Jackson Baker. So Kanoa, he's on a heater. Out the back right now, live action. Wow, what a beautiful turn. Another gorgeous slip lines, just carve and then just finishes on the inside. Joao Chianca. <laughs> He Look at that. It. That I mean, looked like you, Strider. Yeah, he felt like me. I think he's, <laughs> he's psyching. I love it. I mean, you know what, though? We've been watching him, and he's been looking like that. Where is this factor in comparison to the score? I mean, it uh, felt like me. This was really good surfing. These twists and shout kind of. That's uh, nothing but excellent surfing right there. Okay, you're thinking all the way to the eights. I mean, I oh, do yeah. believe I that was... those were. And then the finish at the end where he tagged it super hard on the lip. Look at these just all the way up in there as far as he possibly can to do that arc cuts it short but straight to the bottom the transition of the rails the judges have been rewarding that in a big way we saw that from Kanoa earlier today you know straight out of a mirror right into that bottom turn rail and you're right Strider's starting to see those numbers trickling in and it's going to be uh, upwards of the excellent range up in there so especially that second his, section. his score up uh, he'll get back out there and reset up and riding right now in the lip Joao Chianca going fast Looks like that 6-2 is just arcing through the lip. Beautiful surfing, fast, clean, solid, and free. So what free. I'm seeing. I, I love the rawness of it all. It's a bold statement, but the reality but Strider's is... into the bold statements. This guy is just having a heck of a heat. He's surfing incredibly well. He's surfing you know, fast and free and throwing down big power moves in critical sections. At least two. Watch this. Off the bottom, straight into the lip. And snaps it hard. But then right here, he comes in for a second. Gouges all the way back around. Then holding that line is what the judges are liking. It stands up again. Woo! Big sweeping turn in the lip. He's not done yet. Bangs the layback jam. Here, I mean, how much point difference are you going to see between these two? At least two. Watch this. Off the bottom, straight into the lip. And snaps it hard. But then right here, he comes in for a second. Gouges all the way back around. Then holding that line is what the judges are liking. It stands up again. Woo! Big sweeping turn in the lip. He's not done yet. Bangs the layback jam. And he's done. I mean, that was just some 
efficient surfing where every part of that wave was utilized. Well, he's got the surfing right now, bar any injury. Still waiting for the next exchange. And here goes Shianka using priority. Good looking wave here. Swoops off the bottom, carves off the top, right back. Beautiful arcs. Double pump, triple pump, bottom turn, snaps. Throwing the fins. One more big carve for Joao Shianka. Looking to the, make the connection to the inside. Toledo, easy rail work to start, kicks out. Shianka continues to surf his way to the finish to back up his 6.5 over. What's cool about that wave for Shianka, it actually was like kind of the second wave of the set. Has come through. Ooh, Strider, this was an 8.17 for Shianka. Yeah, we liked it better, and this is why. He just had full body extension wrapped into the corner, was patient, and slams it into the corner. He pushed really hard right there, followed up with a nice little turn to finish, and then stayed with it to the inside. But those three turns that he got done out the back were all filled with just cash flow. I yeah. mean, beautiful turn arc. Look at the spray off the backs. And then he comes around and he waits for this section and then perfectly times the jab and then comes around for another one to finish. So, great wave choice. Here we go. Draw Shianka, foamy <laughs> barrel ride makes it through there. Shambino. Thank you, Super Chubos. About it. Oh, and then we get this angle of Joao's, which is another massive number. He's improving on him, on his scoreline. Yes, and that's just looks just like the backdoor type of waves that he usually gets. Kind of like the second wave of the set, <laughs> kind of the waves that no one wants it, and just the latest drop possible. You got a lot of backwash from the wave before, and somehow pulled it off. That was incredible. Such a sketchy wave. That was good work. Uh, just the mental game getting played right now with um, with these two. We'll see if anyone takes this wave. It's going to be Shianka. Using priority, going right, traveling, traveling. One more section. Draw emerges, lip glide, and puts it down, looks back, and says, take that. And the crowd loves it. Yeah, and just um, stop and think for a moment. And let's say he had priority and he wasn't sitting by him. That's just a wave that Jack was a great score that Jack was going to be able to capitalize. His approach and style of, of coaching, is that something that he might say to, to help him out? Well, well, that was a nice, nice barrel for him and just a huge finish. But I think, I don't know, I think Pinga, like you mentioned, he's actually lives it very open for the athletes. He doesn't talk too much. So it would be interesting to see what actually was said. I'd love to said, be able to fly yeah. on the wall. Yeah. That was a closer right there. I mean, that's the combo. That's comboing it up, Pete. Yeah, it I mean, is. That's the barrel. And then that's a, a dynamic finish. That was a difficult floater. Beautiful section. And then and this solidifies it, really. You know, we, we saw Jack fall on his finish move, but Joao, both waves, just stomps the landing. So you're going to, you know, going to get numbers for doing single maneuvers, but he got barreled and tags this huge section. Yeah, that, that's, that feels like excellent to me for Joao Shianka. Yeah, I think that closeout section was definitely an X factor in that turn. Here we, here we are back. Joao Shianka pulling in, pulling out, making it again. Unbelievable. He took off like like in the lip. How did that even, how is that even possible? Well, defying <laughs> physics, gravity, whatever you want to call it. He, uh, Joao Shianka, getting it done there. We'll be waiting for that score of Joao, who's already in, has a big lead, Jesse, over Jack Robinson. Just so late just really knifing it and getting so deep. See, we were like literally just straight down angle right there and we couldn't see him for a good time. So that showed how deep he was in that barrel and he was just in disbelief right there. Uh, so incredible. You know, and it seems to be going all Joao's way. Oh, it sure does. Nine point ride for Joao Shianka on this replay here. That delayed bottom turn, that's that technique. Off the bottom, just delay the bottom turn and then hook up underneath it and go for the ride. Get yourself right centered on that CI Pro six footer. It's a 6.0. And uh, gotta love it, 9.07, huge number. And now he puts Jack really with his back oh. against the wall and it's just now Jack is in, in trouble to get out of a combination of a 17.57. And here we go, waves coming in. And there you go, Joao Shianka, a little block there, perils, it comes out again. Oh, big more, C more. once again. <laughs> I love it. 
on fire. Think he's having a good time? I would say he is. Absolutely he is. That was incredible. Just she's just a wave magnet right yeah. now. Look at this um, how many scores he's already got on board and uh -oh, looks look like at this Jack outside. A good one. Already little defense, a little offense too, Jess. Yeah, and I wouldn't doubt if John even betters this um, this wave. He was very deep, such an intense wave, kinda um, <laughs> wrapped on top of him and they're like actually paddle battling right there that was insane uh, he's, he kind of almost was saying hey tens yeah kind of throwing <laughs> up the hands like that hey sell right. it see if the judges are buying it and there you go joao shianka a little block there perils it <laughs> comes out again oh big more, c more. once again <laughs> i love it my call that juan did a great call right there to go on that wave but jack is definitely going to get in a very good spot in this heat right now oh, if he pump. wants to get him a shot. You see that pump that he was able to do as we see that in slow motion, pulling up on the rail, Joao Chianca. And the front leg, and you see how the front leg bows out. It's literally an e-brake. He's throwing it out, and then he releases it and throws it back out again for speed control. He's currently the best surfer in the world, but you really need the right portraits, and let's see how he goes on this one. That's right. I think you're referencing the flow, maybe a little disruption there in Richie Porta's eyes. This one looks a bit more fluid, and maybe because the size difference on this wave, a bit smaller, really letting him rip this thing apart. Well-surfed wave for Chianka, chasing a 7.4, and definitely looked a bit smoother on a, a smaller, smaller wave on that one, Richie. Four waves ridden for Chianka. Five waves ridden from Robinson. Here comes Joao. Setting up a beautiful lowers wall. Lays into that first turn. Sets it up with some speed, blasting wow. the fin free and controlling it beautifully. Looking to shut it down. That was Sensational wow. ride there. Yeah. Grimmer celebrates. Good size set wave too here. I mean, first turn, that's a big section. It's an important section. He lays into it. And that's that swallowtail. Digs in right there in that little crease. And then this one even bigger with the release. I thought it was gone out from under his feet. And then had to finish late there, but he pulls it off. This could be the best number of the heat. What about this angle, Rich? Yeah, I love this angle. You really see the critical nature of the turn, the whole bottom of the board on display. And then the second one was even stronger, more power, and uh, gets that little drift through the second half of the turn. Watch here. Now he gets the release, jams it so hard, completely engulfed by the lip as he comes down. Gets the hair out of the way, and uh -huh. then uh, gets back onto that bottom turn. That was mental. But look at that uh, it, that expression in the turn. And again, we've talked about it time and time again. That back arm laying it into the into the wave face acts as a pivot point. You're almost grabbing onto the wall.